Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be talking about the episode Grandma Comes Home. If you're enjoying these, please do like and subscribe and feel free to share these video links with anyone you think might enjoy them. So Ellen coming back, Grandma Comes Home, that was a very significant episode not just for all of the cast who had missed Ellen very much while she was gone, also for television in general. I think this was one of the very first times that a company had actually brought a stroke victim back to work or put them to work or hired them after a stroke as severe as Ellen's was. Her right side was still pretty much paralyzed and that really impaired her speech as well. So the struggles that you see in this episode with her speech are very real. Ellen had her stroke in 1976 during the filming of the episode, The Ferris Wheel. She didn't arrive at work one day. Being the professional that she was, she was never late. And when she didn't arrive for work, Will Gear said, something's wrong. And he and a couple of the producers went to Ellen's house and they found her and took her to the hospital. And it's entirely likely that they saved her life. What's ironic is that Grandma Comes Home was the last episode of season six. And then Will Gear died between season six and season seven. So we started season seven with the episode where we pay tribute to Grandpa and say goodbye to him up on the mountain. Just as Ellen came back, we lost Will. After her stroke, she had very limited capacity to form words, and she worked very hard to get those words out. There were certain phrases that were easier for her, but when she had dialogue, she had to really concentrate over and over, and sometimes she had to have somebody else right there to mouth the words so she could try to form them. So it was very difficult for Ellen and for the rest of us because we didn't know how best to support and assist her. Uh, and she would get very frustrated because, you know, she wanted to be able to articulate what was going on and wasn't able to. And so she would get very frustrated. Some of the moments that really stand out for me are the beautiful first moment of Grandma with John Curtis. I thought that was just so sweet to see, you know, all those generations together and Ellen's very real joy in seeing John Curtis and later on in holding him. Uh, so I was very glad that we had that opportunity for the audience to see that moment. Another moment was when Ellen answers the phone, when grandma tries to answer the phone and she can't get the words out. And that was a lot of what would happen when Ellen was trying to speak is the noises, sounds would just come out and she couldn't articulate the actual words. Uh, so that was, that was quite a moment. And I loved though that she went outside and she's looking around, she can't find anybody. And Jim Bob pulls up and he says, you wanna go for a ride? And I absolutely adored, you know, her, yeah. That just was so Ellen, it was so natural. Uh, and I thought it was just such a sweet moment there. And the joy that she got out of going for that ride with, with Jim Bob. <laughs> So I was thrilled to see some of the lighter moments that they that they gave to us, to the audience within the episode. So it wasn't all quite so heartbreaking because it was really heartbreaking. Some of the other lighter moments in this episode surrounded the storyline with Elizabeth, who was going through that awkward age and then her 4-H project and Olivia wants her to do a sewing project and she wants to do something with an animal. And so there's the whole storyline with, with the pig, with Jabez and, and with, with Clarence. And I mean, what a sweet storyline and what a lovely message about 
a person being more than their exterior. Here's, here's poor Clarence, who is chubby. And Elizabeth thinks that people make fun of him and she doesn't want to be associated with that. And, and our mother reprimands her about that. And rightly so, that she shouldn't be avoiding him. He's a friend and she should not avoid him. Uh, so Elizabeth, during the course of the episode, comes to appreciate him much more and ultimately offers to share the 4-H project with him and they will raise the pig together. But I thought it was very sweet how he intentionally gave her the pig, knowing the pig would keep coming back and that he would get to see her. And of course, Ben plays the whole prank with putting the pig in the baby carriage to pull one over on Mary Ellen. And then she spends the rest of the episode trying to get back at him. So just the, the sibling dynamics uh, were in full view, uh, which I just love. Of course, the scene on the porch with Michael when they're snapping beans and, and she, she's trying to explain to Olivia how she feels that she isn't being given things to do, that she feels like nobody needs her. And, and when Olivia finally understands what's being said, just the emotion between the two of them, ah, Kleenex time. <laughs> There's nothing, you can't, you just, you can't script that. That is two actresses making an incredible moment on screen. But probably one of my favorite moments of this episode is after Grandpa, who has been so worried about Grandma and why she doesn't seem to be herself, he finally reads her diary and finds out that she made a promise to God that if she got to come home, she would never be cross or angry with anybody, never have a harsh word for anybody. And he reveals that he made a promise also that if she came back, he would take care of her and she would never have to raise a finger again. And they find themselves at a crossroad and recognizing grandma's need to feel needed and important in the family. He marches out and he hands her that broom and tells her she has to earn her keep. And she whaps him with that broom and says, You old fool. She said that so many times during the course of the series, but I think this one was probably the most significant because that was epitomized that relationship between grandma and grandpa. So absolutely beautiful moment. But one of the easiest things for Ellen to say was, oh boy, which frequently she would say, she says it, she says it in this episode and Often, if she couldn't get any other words out, that's what she would say. So once she came back, you probably heard that phrase a few more times than some others. And we heard that a lot in real life. So it was so wonderful to have Ellen back with us on the set and back part of the Walton family for all of you. So there you are. That's uh, my tribute to the episode Grandma Comes Home. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do tune in again for more episodes of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Till next time, take care and thanks for watching.